The Weed of the Week is sponsored by the Enlist Weed Control System from Dow AgroSciences, a new herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate. Farming isn't just in the land, it's in you. Take control of weeds like never before. Enlist builds on the Roundup Ready system, combining proven control of a new 2,4-D and glyphosate in Enlist Dual Herbicide. Protect what matters without changing the way you farm. Talk to your seed or crop protection supplier today. Our Weed of the Week is Palmer Amaranth, otherwise known as Palmer Pigweed. Otherwise known as Smooth Pigweed, and that's really yep. where a lot of guys get confused, like Brian, for example, who thinks water hemp, Palmer Pigweed, there really isn't much difference. I think they're the hey, same thing. They are They are two different weeds. There are some differences. <laughs> the you control can't methods tell them apart. are the same. They look the same. I don't think you really can tell them apart. All I'm trying to say here is these are bad weeds. It doesn't matter if it's Palmer Pigweed or water hemp. You've got to try to get it under control, knowing that chances are it's Roundup resistant and ALS resistant, and it can grow two to four inches in a day, and it can put on over a million seeds per plant. So go try to kill it. All right. Well, let's start with soybeans then. That seems to be where we're having more problems than anywhere else and more acres anyway. When we look at soybeans, we have a solution for controlling pigweed species. It starts with using three different sites of action pre-emerge. On our farm, what we'll do is pick one of the DNA products, Treflan, Sonlan, or Prowl. If you're in no-till or reduced till, Prowl's your choice. If you're in conventional till, Treflan and Sonlan are, are good choices. Then you look at Metribuzin. It does a really nice job pre-emerge on pigweed species. Use somewhere between a third of a pound on the high end and and maybe if you have high pH or sandy soil, you have to get by with an eighth of a pound or something like that on the low end. Either way, it's going to do a pretty nice job for you. Then use one of the PPOs. And we've got so many guys across our country that are strictly relying on these PPOs like a Valor or Authority to do all the work. Hey, they're great products, but when you've got heavy pressure of a really tough weed and no good post-emerge solutions, use all three of these sites of action and you'll do a great job on Palmer pigweed early. It's going to cost about $12 up to $20 an acre depending on which of the mix you pick there but again use three different sites of action pre you have to start with that if you don't start with that I'd give up I won't even plant soybeans and I'm dead serious okay Palmer pigweed is that bad post emerge then if you want some residual you can use warrant outlook zidua dual something like that those are not contact killers just extra residual for you and I would use those on your first pass through the field right. with Roundup or Liberty that way you get those residuals out they have time to get some rainfall on to get activated now, the best thing post-emerge is Flexstar. So I'd save your Flexstar for post. Don't use it up pre. Save your Flexstar for post. Then you can also use Cobra. Cadet does have some activity as well. And the other crops like corn and wheat, we don't have a big issue controlling pigweeds. And corn, you could start with something like SureStar to Triple Flex Down or one of the Balance Flex products or High Choices. Then post-emerge, come back with Status and Atrazine. You can also do a pretty decent job with the HPPDs like a Callisto, Laudus, Impact, or Armazon. In wheat, Palmer pigweed isn't that big a deal. Usually the wheat is thick enough to choke it out, but I'd start with Sharpen Pre, follow with Husky Post. That's all the time we have for this week's weed, but Iron Talk is coming up next.